Uh, the worst loss of the year for the Eagles, of course, was this past weekend. A uh, chance to be the number one seed, win the NFC, it's all that good stuff. And now they're not only the number one seed, San Fran's got that. They probably won't win the division either. All Dallas has to do is beat Washington. So Nick Sirianni is under fire because the biggest change he made during this kind of poor play from the Eagles was obviously going to Matt Patricia, demoted their defensive coordinator, elevated Matt Patricia to be the new defensive coordinator. Why don't we go to a full screen shot of the stats since the Eagles made that change and let's see if it worked out for Philadelphia in three, two, one, Yahtzee, Ooh. right there. So Matt Patricia's defense, two points worse per game, about 50 yards worse on the ground defensively per Bad. game. Uh, fewer, I mean, the whole thing sucks. Sucks. Right? Yeah. The whole thing sucks. Blow fewer turnovers. The whole thing. So, obviously, their defensive coordinator was not the problem. Obviously, Matt Patricia, not the answer. Mm -hmm. This is a team that a year ago led the league with like 70, 70 sacks. sacks. Yes, and they've got half as many sacks this year. That can't just be scheme, Willie. Really. That's also got to be the players on the field just not getting the job done. And that includes a guy that we thought might be defensive rookie of the year in Jalen Carter. Carter. Yeah. yeah, it's called one two, Craig, and I don't see it anymore with the Philadelphia Eagles. And that's the bottom line. When you go to last year, you knocked Brock Purdy and Josh Johnson out of the NFC Championship game. You have 70 sacks last year. I thought this Eagles defense was easily top five in the league. No doubt. Hands down. Yep. The, starting with the front seven because their ability to get after the pass rusher and stop the run. As of late, what the hell has happened to this Philadelphia defense? Seriously. They can't get off the field on third down. They're an absolute liability in the secondary. And this daunted defense that did well against the, the pass, you can't find them. They yeah. don't pop off the table. A couple other things uh, from that defense. It's the worst. I'm not exaggerating here. This is the worst defense yeah. in the league over the course of the last two months. And if you look at their last ten games, seven of the last ten games, they've given up 30 points. And it's not like every game was against a playoff team or a world beater. This defense is like a sieve. And it used to be, oh, you can throw on this defense. But now you can run all over this yeah. defense. When you're watching this Cardinals game, like, they came back running the football. Yeah. Look at the numbers that they had between Connor and Carter. It was like 221 yards on the ground. Craig, that is the most they have given up since but, 2016. That's seven years. But there, there's also, like, an attitude adjustment that happened that I just don't understand. Like, you got Kyler Murray. Murray coming off the, the couch, if you will, coming into Philly. And the Philly, by the way, office put up 31 points. That's enough to win you any NFL game in modern-day football, yeah. right? And the fact that they came to Philly when you needed the win, when you needed everything to go right your way, and it did offensively and defensively, which, by the, let's be honest, the beginning of the season's defense was like, okay, they, they, they got it. And right. then something that happened mm. in the middle of the season where nobody's tackling, the secondary is a liability, they're not getting at the quarterback, and it all looks like they're just waiting to Look, get put to and sleep. And they've been panicking for a while. You know, they panicked when they brought Shaq Leonard in, right? A former Pro Bowl right. defensive yep. player. You know, they panicked, obviously, when they tried to teach Jalen Hurts how to fall and not fumble. So there's been all these little signs like, almost like chinks in the armor, if you will, mm -hmm. that they've tried to address, tried to address, all while publicly denying that we've got ourselves a problem. And then, of course, comes A.J. Brown, who no one's going to argue is their most talented wide receiver. All due respect to Devontae Smith. A.J. had that great you know, five-week run, 130-plus yards. Is he the greatest wide receiver yep. you know, in Eagle history, which is what they were talking about on the radio in Philadelphia earlier in the year? And after the embarrassing loss to Arizona, he decides to shun the media, won't speak yeah. to the media, won't talk to anybody else either. And now the stories are coming out that A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith and a bunch of other guys are not mad at the fans. They're not mad at the media, but they are very upset with Nick Sirianni, yeah. which is what I've been saying all year long. Nick Sirianni is not a coach that's going to lead a team from the abyss. He's a coach that's going to get on secretariat and ride that bitch until he crosses the finish line first. Right. That's uh, what do we call that? Front yeah, runner. that's right. That's right. I was looking for front runner. I came up with bitch. <laughs> that's on me. I take say. This is say. I take ownership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomato, tomato, potato, right. potato, bitch. But that's how I come up with that. AJ AJ Brown said that he was upset. His teammates said that he was upset know. with the coaches, right? And then there's Sean Desai. There was reports that 
he wasn't confident enough to control the locker room. And then you bring in Matt Patricia. What about Matt Patricia makes you confident? We saw what Nothing. he did with the Lions. <laughs> We, he was the offensive coordinator that for the Patriots last year. year. One of the worst offensive units I've ever seen. So it's like, yeah. this guy's here to fix the problem? He's yeah. here to fix the problem? He but, is a chemical engineer or something like that, or like an aerospace engineer. Like, he's a really smart guy. Josh Dobbs. That's Josh Dobbs. He's got a pencil in the air. It doesn't make you smart. No, <laughs> I, no, no. He's a backwards hat and a pencil in the air. It doesn't make you genius. No, but like, legitimately, he's like a neurospace engineer. He well, failed in Detroit. That's something to fall back on. He was horrible in Detroit. He's horrible in Philly. Yeah. I don't want my football coaches to be my defense coordinator. Yeah, but I got to be honest. I used to love that pencil look. The pencil, yeah, the pencil look is like, a good look. That guy's so much smarter than me. Why? <laughs> well, he's got that pencil in his hand. Yeah, yeah. Like, how does he keep it there? You know, that no, he looks like a cook at a diner. What's that? The hell? You want the loaf? Yeah. We got fresh potatoes. And no tomatoes. Yeah. Said no tomatoes. Yeah. Well, you want more potatoes? I, I, I got well those. done. How well do you want it? Yeah. And it is great that the Eagles, uh, you know, answer for all their problems, <laughs> wants to come up with the worst offensive coordinator in the history of football. All you the worst head coach yeah. in the history of football <laughs> yeah. in Detroit, and a guy that basically you know, made his uh, bones in the NFL, like a lot of people have, on the back of Tom Brady's yeah. performance you know, in New England. And I gotta be honest, I love every second of it. I cannot get enough. It's almost like, you know, Eagle fans are in the ocean, mm -hmm. and they're drowning. And there is a life preserver nearby, but I just won't give it to him. But but look how bad of a loss it was when John, Jonathan Gannon was the D coordinator for the Eagles. And he's doing yep. uh, amazingly, even he though the Cardinals suck, he's doing he, a good job. He peacocked off the field like, ah, I told you it wasn't me. Like, you yep. know, like what are you talking this is, he, he did a hell of a job with this defense, and his defense is falling week after week. It's bad, man. Look it's at the way we're feeling. discussing this team that was 10-1, and one, and they had, like, one fluky loss to the yes. Jets. Like, they were 10-1. and one. Yeah. They were, like, the best team in football to at be, one point. To be fair, I'm glad you brought that up, Jacoby, because what I think we all should have done in retrospect, and I didn't do it either at the time, but I think you look back with hindsight, it should be 2020, right? When the Eagles lost to the Jets, we should have known right then and there yeah, yeah. that there was something wrong with them because the Jets suck. And the fact that but they Jets, rebounded too. Wait, wait, the so point they, is, you lose to the Jets, there's something wrong with you. Yes. That's how I feel. We've had ourselves that. in the back a little bit. Even in those wins, we were like, eh, it yeah. doesn't look 100% right. Yeah, but winning's winning at the end of the day. Not a problem is they don't know – they don't have an identity, right? Like, defensively, this was a team that got after the quarterback. Like, they have players. Like, you got Heretic in these guys, Jalen Carter. You now have Shaq Leonard. Like, you got guys who made plays. They're not making plays anymore. They had the one interception uh, Sunday, and that hadn't happened, what, I think all season damn near. Yeah. So, right. who knows? Winning is winning, but losing is losing. But losing to the Cardinals is losing. Yeah. I it's, thought that was the Jets. It's the yeah. Cardinals. It's the, it's the Cardinals, Cardinals, too. Yeah. Yeah. Think about it. Both those lost to the season. Jets and the Cardinals. Yeah. 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 The Cardinals were 3 and 12 going into that game. Yeah. Like, 3 and 12. Like, yeah. if you're, I know we have if to take a break. The Super Bowl. If yeah. you're holding out hope that you're going to the Super Bowl, you're the only team that lost to the Cardinals and the Jets. Oh. You ain't going to no Super Bowl. No. No. I can tell you that right now. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching the Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.